So I purchased a Free Chex 2 gas check maker from a guy named Charlie on eBay a year or two ago, and it was at the time the most advanced and finest tool for making uh, your own gas checks. Um, I was very happy with it. It's paid for itself uh, many times over. Uh, but uh, a few months ago, Charlie sent me uh, a prototype, a handmade prototype of his latest invention. It's called a Free Chex 3 and uh, he wanted me to use it and report back to him on my success and failures with it and uh, I have to tell you it is absolutely incredible and you're just not going to believe if, you, if you've made them before, if you've made gas checks before with a different type of tool you're just not going to believe how fast you can make them uh, literally I can make a thousand an hour when I'm just loafing and if I'm, if I'm really determined and, and, and keep my uh, head together and my <laughs> I, I can make probably closer to 1500 or 2000 an hour. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Every time you pull the handle on your Arbor Press, another fully formed gas check pops out. It's like a progressive press compared to a single stage when you're reloading. Um, one, one pull of the handle and the Free Chex 3 goes ahead and uh, cuts and forms the gas check, just one press. It's absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, this tool is a lot more difficult to manufacture than the Free Chex 2. Charlie said it's going to have to be more expensive. It's uh, taken him quite a bit to perfect it to the point where he's at right now. Um, but uh, it's also a little more sensitive to thickness. Uh, commercial gas checks are made out of copper. Um, I, I actually have been making all of mine out of aluminum roof flashing. It's not a bad idea to take your calipers in here. Uh, this tool works best uh, with my experience that uh, aluminum material and probably copper to at about 12 thousandths to 15 thousandths of an inch thick. Unfortunately most uh, roof flashing isn't marked uh, as a gauge or anything else so I just take my uh, calipers in with me and check to make sure I'm getting uh, something within 12 to 15 thousandths of an inch in thickness. And uh, I've had really good luck with aluminum roof flashing, uh, no visible damage to my guns at all. Um, it's keeping them clean and uh, these checks these checks work great. Um, if you run them through, they fit. They they fit fr pretty snug on the base of your uh, bullet that's designed to be designed for a gas check. If you run them through a sizer, it kind of swedges them on there. Actually, for some of mine, I prefer just to go ahead and uh, put a little dab of super glue on each one and press them on, and not size the bullet. Um, I'm not sure the super glue is necessary. I've dug some of them out of the hill and found the uh, gas check still in the back of them. I'm getting really consistent results, so. I highly recommend this tool when it becomes available. I don't know when Charlie's going to make it uh, available or, or if he is, but uh, uh, when you see how it works, if you're making your own gas checks or thinking about it, uh, you're going to want one because it's truly an incredible tool. Um, you, you just wouldn't believe me without seeing me. That's why, uh, without seeing me make him um, use the tool, uh, that's why I made the video because uh, I'm not lying. I can make a thousand to two thousand an hour. And that's uh, the things cost between thirty and forty bucks a thousand. So um, that's a pretty good return on your on your time. Uh, I think uh, a good way to go would be to uh, for if if they turn out to be pretty expensive, you know, buy one and and share it with three or four guys, maybe more, because um, you can make you can make enough for for a lot of bullets in an afternoon. So. Okay, well, I'll uh, go through a few of the steps with every, show you a couple of how I cut the aluminum with a paper cutter and then just run the strips through this uh, Arbor Press holding uh, the Free Chex 3. And I think you'll be pretty impressed. This doesn't have to be exact, but. The closer to a half inch you but the less waste you'll have. Every one of these strips will make about 20 gas checks. See with the paper cutter, you can cut a lot of them pretty fast. Well, 
Well, that's enough to get us started for a little while. So I got uh, quite a few cut. We got, I don't know how many we cut there. Enough to make uh, two or three hundred gas checks anyway. Here we are with our arbor press. I've gone ahead, I've uh, taken a one by two, drilled a three quarter inch hole into it, and uh, I've got it bolted to my uh, the plate of my arbor press, and I pressed the uh, anvil of the gas checks three into that piece of wood and hold it steady while we feed uh, pieces of aluminum, uh, our strips of aluminum through it. Put that on there. Take our forming die and cutter, stick it in there, our punch. And let's just go ahead, you're just not going to believe, anyone who's made these things with, by hand before is not going to believe how fast this goes, it's unbelievable. So let's go ahead, I'm waiting until the counter gets to 4430, let's see how fast we can make some gas checks. There's 19. It took me 30 seconds. I can tell you that was a little bit. I don't know if you can tell I was fumbling a little bit on that. But um, okay, let me just press them out. You can take a look at them because seeing is believing. Those are perfectly formed gas checks. They fit on my bullets wonderfully. Uh, you can either put a little super glue on them and not size your bullets. Just run them to the size of the size that they'll stay on. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can. I, I've done these in way less than 20 seconds. Let's just try another one here. Okay, I'm starting at 35. Zero, zero. So that was 25 seconds for that one. And we'll go ahead and empty these out. I just use a little, uh, I think that's a 5 16 or is it 3 8 inch bolt? I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's 5 16 inch bolt. That's right. And press those things into my hand. There you go. Normally I stick them straight into the baggie or a little box. But you can see. Even if you only average one, even if you only average 20 a minute, that's still um, 1,200 an hour. And I can, I can, I make at least a thousand an hour with this thing. So I think it'd be a good idea um, uh, if, when these become available. I don't know, Charlie. There's a lot of work to make, uh, but um, they're so fast. I think it'd be worthwhile for a club to buy them, and um, you could share among the members. Everyone can make their pair of gas checks in a day or two. You can literally make a year's supply in four hours or so. I mean, I don't know how many you can do. We got another batch of them. This time we'll just pop them straight into the baggie. Like I said, it's actually easiest if you're trying to make time. A little box next to the thing. There's the ones we've made so far tonight. Let's do one more and then we'll end this video. Starting at 40. And we ended at zero zero, so that took 20 seconds. Okay. So you can see at 20 seconds, I'm averaging way faster than 1200 an hour.